Probably the most anticipated new feature in Photoshop CS5 is the Content Aware. Now this was sneak peeked at the Adobe Max show back in October 2009 in Los Angeles and it's where you can remove something from an image and see it automatically replaced with details which match the tone and lighting of the surrounding area, almost as if that object or whatever you moved had never existed. Now we're going to try out two versions of this, we're going to try out um, Paint on Content Aware. Uh, which uses the spot healing brush to remove stuff and we're trying to remove that power cable which is in this image here so let's select the spot healing tool and up in the options here we've got it set to content aware let's change the brush size to about 21 and keep the hardness at 100% Okay, now I'm using a mouse. I usually use a graphics tablet, but I haven't got one with me, so I might be a bit wobbly. Let's try this out. Whoa, very wobbly. Okay, let's draw over that cable. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, there's a little bit there which can be cleaned up using the clone tool, but that's, and, and there, just there, but that's pretty smart. I mean, that's like witchcraft or something. Um, that's amazing. Uh, let's try on another image. Let's try on a colour image. Okay, let's try this on an image of mine, a colour image off the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Uh, let's see if we can uh, remove one of these pedestrians. There we go. That one will do. So, spot healing brush again and make that about 20, 24 will do. And set to content aware. Let's paint over that Bod. I need a smaller brush to do some of the finer detail there. Ah, <laughs> impressive, eh? Well, while we're at it, let's see if we can see how good it is of lobbing off a bit of the Eiffel Tower. I'm not sure this will work. Let's just change the settings to a bigger brush. Yes. Let's try this. Content aware is set at the top bar there. Well, it's thinking about it. <laughs> oh dear, been a bit of an accident in Paris. Let's try content aware filled with a selection. And in this image, I've made a selection using the lasso tool of this bloke. And if we go to edit, fill you've got a new option in this now which is content aware and just click OK it's thinking about it it's doing something well there you go let's remove that selection and he sort of vanished doesn't he I mean that's quite cool I mean if I was American I'd say it was awesome but I'm not so I'll say it's jolly good but it's obviously working really well there because the background, that wall, is so random isn't it and um, it's looking for bits, pixels around it and blending them and it's getting away with a lot there because of that wall. Uh, let's try that, let's find a proper an image of mine to use on that. Right, here's me at the seaside, uh, right there in the left hand corner. Let's make a selection and try and remove me. So I've used the lasso tool, made this selection and go to edit, fill, and then content aware. Click OK. Ooh, I've gone. Deselect that, control D. That's not bad. That you that would save you an awful lot of time. Um, rather than just using the clone tool to get rid of the, the content there, the person, me. Um, you could just use the clone tool there to touch up those edges and maybe darken them down a bit. That would save a hell of a lot of work, actually. They say the camera never lies, but Photoshop enables you to pull all manner of devious little tricks on images. Sometimes you have to do this to make an image more appealing or fit a certain layout. And the new addition in Photoshop CS5 of Puppet Warp enables you to do this quite easily. Now here we have a picture of my mate Tom, which I have cut out and put on a layer on its own. And we're going to make his arms bend in a different way. He's got them straight out there. We're going to make them bend, or one of them bend. So let's select the layer. And if we go out to Edit, Puppet Warp, and it creates a mesh over him. 
or over that cutout element of the layer. Um, and what we need to do now is add pins. So just think about this, you need to think about it as if you were placing pins on his joints, about where he would actually bend his arm. So we'll have one at the top there, in the middle, one by his hand. And then if we pull up, we can make him wave. <laughs> Turn around like that a bit and move the other one. Once you're happy with the changes to the image, just click the little tick icon up there. 